This is part two of the Mentoris Basic App Creation Tutorial. In part one, we examined the steps required to set up a basic app project in Eclipse. In this video, we will learn how to export your APK file, create a digital signature file, and then use the digital signature to sign your APK. Your APK will then be ready for publication. At the end of part one, we had just tested our basic app, the emulator. And it's working perfectly. Now we are ready to output the APK file. Go to your project right click on it, go to Android Tools, Export Unsigned Application Package. Now I'm going to put this in my workspace which is on the root of my C drive. Your workspace may be anywhere, maybe under your documents directory. Find some good way to organize all your work so you can back it up by burning one directory right to a disk. I'm going to save this as bitmap array demo dash unaligned. Takes a few seconds and you get this message. Uh, the output is not done until you get this message. Always look down at the bottom of the screen and make sure there's nothing in progress. OK. Go to that directory and here is your unaligned APK file. Your APK file needs to be signed and zip aligned. To do that, go to your desktop. This work has to be done from the command line. Right click on your desktop, go to New, Shortcut, type in command.exe. Next. Now right click on that shortcut, go to Properties, and in the Start In directory, change that to your Workspace directory. OK. Double click on that. The first time you create an APK, you have to create a digital signature. You only need one digital signature for all of your apps. This is a one time thing. Type key store, key tool slash gen key slash key store this will be the name of your file I have company name dot key store space slash alias your company name again slash key a l g capital r s a space slash validity three six five zero zero that's in days which means this key store will be good for one hundred years hit enter pick a good password Re-enter. Put in your name.
your organizational unit. I just put my company name. Put whatever you like in these fields, but they're permanent once you do. Organization, I'm going to put the same thing. You can put whatever you like in these fields. City. State. Two-letter abbreviation for the state. Look it over really good. Do you like everything? Type yes. For some reason it's asking me the password again. And there is your key store. I create a batch file that I use each time I want to sign my APK. Open Notepad, type in char signer dash verbose dash key store space my com dot key store your name will be different here put in the name of your key store space the name of your program dash unaligned dot APK. That's the file you exported from Eclipse. Space your alias, which is the same as your company name. Hit enter. And on a second line, type zip align slash D space four space your unaligned APK space and the final name of your APK. And save that right next to your APK file. In this case, it's my workspace. And save it as something like sign dash the name of your program. Dot BAT. Go back to your DOS prompt, type DIR, and there is your signing path. And execute sign dash bitmap array demo. Now it wants your password. That's the password you created when you created your key store and it signs your APK. Look over these messages, make sure there's no error messages, do a DIR and there it is, your final APK. You now have an APK that you can attach to an email and mail to yourself to install on your device. 
or upload to Google for publication. In the next video, I'll explain how to atta attach data files to your basic program and go into more detail on how the auto run program works. Thanks for watching.